My name is Jan Lebeu and I'm a catalyst at CTIC Dakar. And what does CTIC do? So CTIC, we are an organization, a Senegalese non-profit organization that promotes the technology ecosystem in Senegal. So we have an activity of business incubator and accelerator, but we also do consultancy and we organize events uh, to help promote the tech ecosystem of Senegal. So how many startups have you got here in the building we're sitting in? So in the actual building, we have currently eight companies, but we also support eight companies who are outside. Uh, on the three years program, but we also have each year a six months accelerator program uh, with this year 17 companies. So in total on the four years we've been supporting 75 companies. And the people who come into the incubator, they get what sort of financial support? So they don't get directly financial support because it depends on the partners that can provide us with funding. So this year we've been partnering with Tigo to provide funding to the accelerator program. Uh, but generally the support that they receive is mostly on business development side, uh, but also visibility, PR, uh, and also financial management and accounting. And give me a couple of examples of startups that are here in the building or outside the building that are particularly interesting. Yeah. So one of the companies I really like uh, is Nyokobok.com. It's an e-commerce platform that helps the Senegalese diaspora, so people based in France or in Italy, to buy goods uh, for their family here. So mostly uh, food and different products, but also now different building and construction materials and also uh, healthcare uh, products. And how do they do the payments? So they do the payment uh, online because it's the diaspora, so most of them are able to pay online. And after the, the product is delivered directly to the, your home of your mama here uh, in, in Senegal. And that's a pretty interesting startup that uh, is raising funds currently, is growing, it's around uh, a dozen of employees and, and doing pretty well. Uh, I really like the model uh, because it also has a, a social impact. And the second example? Uh, I like, you know, uh, L'Africa Mobile. L'Africa Mobile is another interesting company funded by uh, a Senegalese guy from the diaspora as well uh, who is providing SMS solution and mobile solution notably to target the same diaspora. So for example you are a TV here in Senegal and you want to do a SMS game uh, but you can also connect with the diaspora through their technology. Before that you could only reach out to people in Senegal and right now because of the connectivity they have with mobile operators in Europe they can uh, reach out to them and connect to them. So effectively it's marketing to the whatever to the diaspora. To the diaspora, absolutely. Yeah. Mostly through SMS but you can also do uh, USSD uh, technology. What sort of investors are there in Senegal when it comes to startups? So um, I'll say we, we definitely lack investors. Uh, we have a VC fund it's called Teranga Capital and, and fortunately for us uh, is run by Omar Sisse which is the who is the former director of CTIC Dakar. Uh, it's not only the first VC fund. We lack of business angels. Uh, we know some of them, but they are not really formal business angels. They do that on an informal way. And our role as incubator, sorry, is to structure them and to help them, you know, uh, be more uh, at ease with investing uh, in technology startups. We also have funding coming from donors, uh, operators, uh, through competition and different contests uh, that they can organize. And uh, are the mobile operators providing some support for startups here in Senegal? Yes and no. Um, of course yes, because you know Orange and Tigo are very involved with the, with the incubator, providing us with funding, providing us with internet connectivity, uh, and also supporting uh, events, uh, which is great because it helps structure the ecosystem, it helps young startups uh, getting out of the ground. But what we lack is really those you know, operators investing in the long term uh, for those companies and, and really the growth of the companies, not only the start. Mm -hmm. uh, and so we need to see a switch between communication uh, support and, and a real concrete ecosystem uh, involvement on the longer term.